What's up, everybody? So, been a long day, and I thought I'd give anyone who cares a little quickie update. Not the best footage quality, but it's on my phone. You have to deal with it. So, I worked on this for two hours this morning, maybe two hours this afternoon, so probably about four or so hours. Um, took the car all the way down to the heads, took the heads off, did find a blown head gasket, that is a good thing that I found that and uh, not tore it apart and didn't find a blown head gasket. What I did first is I took the spark plugs out, did find one that was wet, and uh, that was the first indicator. Went ahead and tore it down, did find a bad head gasket. Um, so, I guess really quickly, I'll show you what I got. Um, at the moment, that's what I got. I got a table full of parts. So. Uh, there's my heads. I'm going to take the manifold and uh, all my parts. My motor. Stripped down to bare bones here. That's the cylinder that had the blown head gasket. See how clean it is? See how the other ones are still kind of dark and uh, those did not have blown head gaskets. So, there it is. Uh, tore down and uh, yeah, it really wasn't too bad. I was able to keep the exhaust manifolds attached to the pipes and just take it off that way. That saved me a lot of time. Um, this whole thing's loose pump for this uh, power steering. Just real quickly for fun, let's see if I can get this in here. Give me a little crank and see what it does. So that's what that looks like. But uh, you can see how clean this cylinder is. This was the one that uh, was having problems. That's just water there. But I'm going to leave it up so it doesn't rust. Anyway, um, this is what I did today. Uh, let's see. Grab the blown one. Here it is right here. I'm going to set this over here. Uh, right there in the sun's good. You can see this mark. See that right there? That's the water going into my head, my seal. Looks like it had a little there too. Should look like that where it's sealed. But instead you've got this break point right there. And uh, that was initially my problem. Oh, if I can get on it, there you go. Backside. So I did have a blown head gasket in case anybody has this problem. They'd like to know. There you go. Um, I got to check the heads yet, but I believe they're fairly square, and I do not need to have them machined or other. They look really good. Um, I cleaned this one a little. I need to scrape it some more, but I got to get a better blade to scrape with. I don't want to scratch it too much. And then uh, we'll see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and put this thing back together. Got my gaskets here, everything's good. Head gaskets under here. I did have to go ahead and get uh, new uh, bolts. I went ahead and got new ones, even though I could have used the old ones, but didn't want to chance it if this is going to work out for me. I'd rather have new ones on there for torque settings. Uh, I do have to give a huge thanks for uh, Buddy Raw Bush. He was able to actually look up all the specifications for torque settings for me. And uh, that was kind of him. If you'd like, you can go back and watch all the live footage from today. Um, but you don't have to, but you can. But other than that, I'm going to go uh, move some of this around, get the car in the garage, shut it down for the night. And tomorrow, start again. Should be going live tomorrow, too, doing the rest of my work here. Um, probably around noon, 1, 2, 3, hopefully before that, actually. But sometime in that time frame, I will be live again. So, there you go. Just a quickie update for you if you did care. And uh, lots of stuff. I'm going to get a good night's rest. We'll get jumping on it tomorrow. Put it back together. Probably wait a day to fire it up, actually. And let all the sealant. Um, the, i got to put sealant on just a few parts where the uh, block and stuff connects with the manifold and stuff like that. So, anyway, peace and love to you all. Thank you. Have a good day. Holy crap. <laughs> See you guys.